packing up the RV. We're leaving Fort Myers today. It's so sad. Hey, lunchbox. We're leaving Fort Myers today. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to leave yesterday, but we got sucked into the Fort Myers vortex. It's honestly been too awesome. The family is just the nicest people in the world. They're just like. I know I keep saying that to everyone we keep meeting, but we keep meeting really awesome people. So my heart is just to keep getting higher and higher. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> These guys were just awesome. They took us in. We spent a uh, whole week here pretty much. Got to go feed my drone to a gator. Got to enjoy the sun for once. I actually felt like I was a little bit on vacation this week, which was cool. Uh, even though we got a lot of work done, it just felt like this vacation time before my eyes. So, this is Lunchbox. Check us at the next location. We're back on the road! Jamie, please stand up. Oh my god, he caught up to us! Caught him on TV! <laughs> What up everybody, this is Lunchbox FPV in the RV. Uh, we just left Co Red's house. Uh, we stopped in Tampa. I got some parts shipped to him so I could fix my drone, so I could continue flying, ripping. And uh, now myself and my beautiful fiance are heading to New Orleans to go check that out on our way to San Antonio to go see Flynosaurus, one of Team Canada's sponsors. So I'm super excited, man. Check it out. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? So this roadside, so AAA failed us big time. First of all, this place right here is 24 hours, it's 24 hour support and has their own tow trucks and they were like five miles away from us. So they could have actually came to our RV and helped us fix it there. And if we couldn't fix it there, they would have towed it themselves to this garage. So we just spent like almost two days to go five miles up the street. So I think we're learning a lesson here that maybe AAA is not the way to go in the States. It's not the same as CA in Canada. CA is awesome, but AAA, womp womp. Other drones that we use that have like GPS on it and it uses like you know satellite technology and those ones don't have complete live feed but you can go very far and those ones have HD cameras on gimbals and they can film for you. So they're very stable and they auto level and all that but what we what we use is almost like the NASCAR of, of drones. You take all the technology off and you're flying all of the sticks yourself. So you flip and roll and turn and do all that. And, you go, and they build these huge off road courses football stadiums or abandoned buildings or pretty much anywhere. Action!